Hi, this is Stuff's Box Bob, and welcome back to Let's Play Gateway to the Savage Frontier. Would you believe, right after I loaded the game, but just before I started recording, I got a message about a random encounter with Zental Guards in this very spot. No problem fleeing them, though. Now, I believe I've got everybody's mirrors equipped. Through this door in front of us, there should be a heck hound and a few medusae. So let's go see if that is correct. Yep. Oh, just two medusa. Okay. Well, it wasn't stone, but at least the mirrors protected us. Oh, that one was. I love it when that happens. Far better they get stoned than us. Hmm, maybe a stinking cloud. Remember the place where we turned in our boat when we got off the river? We won't be able to make use of that boat rental place again until we're done dealing with all the battles in this town. <coughs> so we're kind of stuck here for the moment. <coughs> I think we should be able to rest in this room after we're done, though. Clue book says we can basically rest anywhere but on the streets. Just nice. Okay. Just some platinum and gems. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else to deal with on this side of the river. Unless one of the party members qualifies for a promotion before we leave town. In which case we can go back to the training hall. So, we can now leave this room. And looks like it's dawn. Yeah, that's just a little place that looks out of the river. And there's the training hall. And now we're going to head over the river. Eladan stops and points ahead to the square on the far side of the river. Are there monsters up there? I can't tell for sure. Now there's no mistake. The plaza ahead of you is filled with monsters, goblinoids, all manner of evil creatures. This must be an entire army of mercenaries, and one goblin now points at the party and shouts. Okay, well... Everyone in the party looks at each other, wishes their companions good luck. You stride forward, trying to keep your confidence in the face of such a massive enemy force. What happened? Eladan stammers. Uh, where'd they all go? Suddenly, Hosita laughs. It was an illusion. There was no army. It was all a trick. Okay. Well, that's comforting, I guess. A sign shaped like a large mug hangs over this door. Printed on it are the words, Old McDon's Tavern. Joe McDon, Proprietor. Okay. Let's see. Either there's barnyard animals, or there's Happy Meals inside. 
Okay. Uh, I don't particularly wish to get into a bar brawl at this point. Yeah, good. I think there should be some locals in the buildings to the south here. Well, I guess they're hiding. But there was what, supposed to be one here. Yeah, I guess we got all the local rumors from the buildings on the other side of the river. The buildings of this area are shabby and in need of repair. Okay. Let's keep going. The ceiling of this old building has collapsed, and a hole is now open in the far corner. Also in the far corner are the creatures who've taken advantage of the opening to make their home here. Okay, and this should be three griffins. Okay, we can deal with this. Okay. Yeah, nice stinking cloud. Okay. We took out the two in back, but not the one in front. And he's kind of stuck there. Let's see if... Yeah, unfortunately... I don't know. I wonder if I can position the fireball so that Hosita doesn't get scorched. We'll try the far corner and hope. <coughs> Whew, that was close. Probably wasn't the brightest thing Tomas has done. <coughs> oh, that's right, I hadn't unequipped Crevice's mirror yet. He's not going to use his bow until I get that taken care of. Okay, then we'll have her just switch briefly to her bow so she can take out that last griffin. <coughs> and just some platinum and jewelry. And I think we will help Krevish out here. As long as he doesn't have the mirror equipped, he's, he'll be able to switch back to the bow by himself. Let's camp, save, rest. And let's continue exploring here. Okay, it looks like there's some more houses of local residents in the far corner here. May, might not be anybody home, though. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Now up ahead there should be another temple. Calls of Vigilance Temple of Helm. And there's this fountain up ahead. 
In the center of this airy plaza stands a beautiful hand-carved stone fountain. Crever says, do you hear that? I could swear the sound of a voice is coming from that fountain. Eladan examines it. You peer into the water, and a carved stone face at the center of the pool speaks to you, carefully recording every word. You write them in your journal as entry number 57. You have done well, adventurers, the stone face says. It's, oh, you have done well, adventurers, the stone face said. Its voice was deep and its features expressionless, but the tone of its words was warm, almost friendly. It is time for you to reap your reward. Look within the waters of my fountain and discern what riches can await you. Everyone looked at the spraying water as an image began to fall form there. The vision showed a pool filled not with water, but with gold. Each member of the party was swimming in it, leaping about and laughing and tossing coins in the air. The image faded. That was a dream, my friends, but is a dream that you can make real. Drop the statuettes in my warm water, and this ocean of gold shall be yours. Um, only problem? Amanitas um, told us to go to Ascor, not Sundabar. And also, gold's nice, but how is that going to get rid of the army that's heading this way? What say you? asked the submerged stone face. Don't do it, Krevish says. If Valgamon gets the statuettes, everything we fought for will be lost. Yeah, so basically, if you give the statues to the fountain, yeah, you'll get tons and tons and tons of gold, more than you can possibly carry, and you'll automatically lose the game. So, let's keep the stick. That was a terrible mistake, roars the fountain. Your eyes go wide in amazement as parts of the intricate stone figure fall away, and the stone face emerges to attack you, a scowling, rock-solid monster, almost ten feet tall. Yeah. Ooh, stone. Maybe that sword of stone cutting we got back in Neverwinter will help. Let's see. Is this a stone golem? Think in The regular Forgotten Realm series mostly just had um, iron golems and large iron golems. Okay. Don't know if there are any particular spells that can affect a, this stone golem one way or the other. So I'm guessing that Probably our best bet is to just wail away w at this with our melee weapons, and especially with our ranger's sword of stone cutting. Oh yeah, do you see that? 38 points damage in one blow. And that took care of it. No treasure. Would have been hard to carry all that gold anyway. Now there's still some more stuff north of this fountain, so... We will probably want to save just before we go into any further battles. Okay, we'll finish up the battles on the northeast section of Sundabar and continue on our way in the next episode. See you then.